What's going on, fellow Stalker Collectors? Silver Wolves here back in the den. Thanks for stopping by. So in this video, I have some new silver of 2023, my uh, first pickups of the year, and a little vino. What else could you ask for? Stay tuned, I'll be right back. So I'm going to open this box and see if I could talk to you at the same time. I'm going to give you an update on my sale strategy for 2023. You know, if you've seen my last video, I sold a bunch of Morgans to my local coin shop and lost out. So I've done a lot of thinking and I actually just recently posted a few coins on eBay. Now I have posted before in the past, uh, about two years ago I sold five Britannias and five Maple Leafs. It, it did quite well and I did break even. So I kind of have an, an account already established, but like I thought, it's, oh, let me continue on here. It's, it is time consuming to post on eBay. He's got to research the coin, find out the current pricing for that coin, and then you have to take a lot of pictures. You know, you want to do at least five. You want to get the front, the back, at different angles, and so forth. And if and if it comes in a box, you want to get a picture of the box and the certificate of authenticity. Then you got to come up with a description and fill in the blanks. Uh, is it? Bullion is it around and and so forth it it it's a lot of work just doing one coin and I'm glad I'm doing it now than in the future and that was the whole purpose I'm gonna just lean back here and see if I can just bag up for you guys so that's where I'm at right now with my eBay. Got in here. Oh, that's the uh, receipt. So I picked up a few tubes here. I like the clear ones. So part of my new strategy in 2023 is I'm gonna keep it real basic when it comes to silver weight, and I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with a tube of sunshine uh, sunshine mint. So I picked up five here and. I also want to fill up a tube of uh, three tubes of Canadian silver dollars, such as the goose. The um, can't see it here. I'll take it out. The Voyager and the totem. So I want to do a tube of twenty for each of these. I'm going to start zooming in now, so you guys can take a better look at these coins. That's what you're here for, right? So this is a, a BU version, 1960. Young Queen Elizabeth on the back. I've shown these in plenty of videos before. So now, I went and picked up the, the card for the Sunshine Mint, because they have that security feature. I did have a tube in the past, a uh, tube of 20 I did sell it to my local coin shop a while back. Let's see, if I, do I have a little knife here? Yes. Exactly. So I want to test this with you guys on camera here. So let's take a look. Ooh, it's already milk spotted. What the... Jesus, Maddie and Joseph. Huh. I did hear about that with the Sunshine Mint. Uh, not sure what video I heard it in. It's every now and then you get a bad batch. And I did. I collected 20 of these before in the past. I never got, uh, never got a coin like this before. Let me look at the other ones. Let's see what we have here. It is for weight. So... 
Just gotta take what you want. Oh, there's some more spotting. Oh, well, this definitely isn't a promotion for Sunshine Mint. Huh. Okay, that's the, uh, that's the goose. This is, this is not looking good two for two so far. That's looking okay. All right, all right. This one looks okay. Let me put that over here. Oh, the suspense. There's a little one, little spot there on the left hand side. Little scratches, some milk spotting. Hmm. Last one. Nice, nice little spot. Hmm. Okay. All right. So one out of five was not milk spotted. That's interesting. Do I want to continue to stack these? Again, it's they're for weight. They're inexpensive, and then they have the security feature, which is one of the main reasons I bought this. I do like. I do like this. Let's see if we can see it on camera. I, yeah, I kind of... I had it there for a second. Sit down. Uh-oh, it's fake. No. It's probably not coming out on the camera. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Yeah, I don't want to waste your guys' time with this. Oh, I can almost see something. But yeah, I'm not going to waste your time on this. Well, two of these for weight. I think that's good to go. Um, I'm already five ahead, so might as well stack 20 of these. Um, so that's my goal going forward into 2023. I'm going to be converting what I'm selling on eBay. And my old silver and exchange it for gold. Uh, mostly it's going to be my semi newsmatics, like somewhat newsmatic coin, borderline there. Uh, and, and I'll keep you guys updated how, how well the sales go because one day we're all going to have to be doing this. And, you know, it is, it takes time. Uh, get prepared for that. You know, from my own personal experience, when you go to your local coin shop, you will get probably gray sheet or. Uh, was you're a great haggler? <laughs> I don't know. So think about that. 10 years, 15 years from now, or, uh, do you want to reassess your stacking strategies now or 15 years from now? All right, please th uh, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Silver Wolves out.